Reminder, these are the lucky ones, the ones who got a second chance. Most animals are shown no mercy and are tortured and killed for people's dinner plates. Dairy products, egg products, and all meat products are inherently cruel and are the main reason these animals are suffering greatly. Humane versions of these products do not exist. Please think of these innocent souls the next time you purchase any animal product. It's our dollar which puts them in the slaughterhouse. Thank you. Enjoy the video. I think the pigs are in here. Are they potbelly pigs? Yeah, they're crosses. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Sleeping beauty. <laughs> what, am I allowed to pat? Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Oh. You like a belly, <laughs> like a belly scratch? Okay. Come on, Joe, scratch that belly. Ooh. You're a beautiful girl, aren't you? Look at your beautiful eyes and your whiskers. You got whiskers like me. They must love it in here, hey? In the hay? Yeah, I mean, they're lucky, aren't they? When you think so few actually make it out. Yeah. That's why we call them survivors. And all the pigs get killed. None of them get spared, do they? They all get killed, even the sows, all the mothers. I wake you up. I wake you up so I can get <laughs> Look, come in, can you see her face? Hello. Who's this beautiful pig? Can I have a kiss? I want a kiss. Hello. Oh, look at you. Look at. You're comfortable. Look, she's comfortable, isn't she? Yeah. A selfie together. Scarlet. <laughs> 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 hey, um, so if these um, horses weren't rescued, they would have gone to market to be killed, to be eaten. She was only two, this, this baby was only two weeks when she arrived. Oh. And um, this lovely lady was pregnant um, with a li little brown baby over there when she arrived as well. Oh. Poor horse. So, so tell us the story about the slaughterhouse workers. So we got invited by a slaughterhouse about 90 miles from here. They invited us to save two pigs because they said they were too friendly to kill. So it's Luke and Freddie that now live here. So we went and collected them. And wow. then they asked if they could have a, a slaughterman's day out here. They wow. said, are you open to the public? So these slaughterhouse workers they have compassion for animals like most humans, but they're just in a really tough job. Yeah, it's a bit of a difficult one, isn't it? Because, yeah, I suppose not. People are not all bad, are they? So there's maybe something a pinprick of compassion in there, where they've they've called us and asked us to take goats, the occasional horse, because yeah. it's young and friendly. But these two pigs, they just said they're so friendly. Uh, we don't want to pop them, kill them. So that shouldn't be what determines whether or not we tr mistreat animals, whether they're cute or friendly or not. Yeah. And then we get to go there and see all the others what awaiting that fate and we just got to take Freddy and Luke out. I mean Check this out. The largest It's the largest unrelated pig herd in the country. Obviously that's not gonna be slaughtered. About 125 live in this field. 125? Yeah. And how many pigs you got of love? Uh, 161. Oh my god, that's a lot of cute pigs. Let's go look at them. Look at these babies, how old are these? They're about a year and a half, though. Oh, hello. My. That's a big standard. Hello. Look here. It's got bottles over there. My. You don't. Do you, do you eat pigs? You don't eat pigs, do you? Why not? They're our friends, aren't they? Yeah, they're not food, are they? No. I'm in a sea of pigs. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> There's too many to handle. <laughs> this one here is so funny. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look at Bradley. Bradley. Bradley loves cuddles. Look, Bradley. Hello, you Bradley. Bradley. You're on YouTube. Current. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley's a lovely boy, but he's not very well behaved outside of here. Stanley. Say hello, Stanley boy. 
Oh, <laughs> hey. well, Zach, you're handsome. Isn't he? Zach, you're handsome. Oh, shit. Very little tea. Cuteness overload. So this is the only place pigs should be kept in a little retreat paradise like this. Look how many there is. Look at them all. <laughs> you know what, this has been a good change from the last couple of weeks. I've been attending a lot of vigils and seeing pigs distressed and on their way to slaughter. But to see these success stories all around, it's beautiful. This is when you see those videos and them crammed into the tiny little compartment yeah. and this, you know, not being able to exhibit their natural behaviours and so cruel. And I know, I sort of know why, but... Okay, so there's uh, a few main points. Yeah. One is to get the footage out to the public. Of course, yeah. So that they can see what, that it's real. Yeah. Another and is local, to... And to, in this country. Because yeah. people go, oh, Earthlings is not this country. Yeah. Another is to be there with the pigs while it's happening. I'll offer them some kind of That's human it. emotion, but yeah. they haven't experienced some kind of compassion, maybe some water. Yeah. Um, some let the things. slaughterhouses know that we see them and we're aware of it and we're, yeah. you know, things are changing and we're against it. Yeah. Um, builds conviction as is your voice for the animals. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of vegans, a lot of people, they don't see the victims, the individuals, no, so no. it's important for them to witness it. Um, it's amazing for a variety of reasons, a variety of reasons. Yeah, that one is, that this is our little baby. This is how pigs' life should be. They get another opportunity at life, these ones. Really lucky. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> That's Annabelle. Hello, Annabelle. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, she wants a selfie. <laughs> Do you want a selfie with me? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Annabelle. She's here with her daughter. This is the most beautiful one. You're my favourite, Annabelle. You're my favourite. You know you're my favourite? Five hundred pounds a day. Billy, I just want to say it's really touched my heart to see all the animals and I want to say you're a hero in the vegan movement for what you do, all the work that you Thank do. You, Very selfless individual. Not many people work this hard for animals and this is one man here, so thanks, give us a hug. That's kind of you. Thank Cheers. you so much. Thank and, you. Thank and, you for visiting. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. And this places like this is over 1,500, is it 1,500 animals here? They don't run themselves, so any help that you can give, um, we'll leave a donation link down below and give generously, because it all goes obviously to these beautiful animals. And come and visit. Come and visit. The, yeah. <laughs> the food is amazing. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> go vegan. Why should they go vegan? Because animals are our friends. And we love animals. Yeah. Because we love animals.